Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the video. Today, we're going to get started on the Mezco 112 Collective DX Wolverine set. Uh, it is the Lux Vision. Ah, oh, Vision. <laughs> this is the Lux version. It comes in a tin can. Uh, and we're going to get started. Uh, gotta say, I had a very great time playing around with this figure. I think my biggest issue was trying to come up with new photos for it. Uh, that was one of the things that I, I've been struggling with as of late, is trying to come up with new ideas. And it's not easy for me as late. But Wolverine, it was fun because the effect parts and uh, bone claws was really cool but also the fact that you can make it you can mix and match your own version of it or you can have uh, you know kinda like the, the modernized version from Mezco so here we are with that first appearance mask but we have that cool black belt with the X on it uh, I've raised the shoulder pads up to be similar to that of the first appearance but we're gonna be able to move those down so let's talk about all of those things right now so let me put this arm down We're with our cool boy here and as you can see uh, he has a muscular body Smaller for a Mezco, but still bigger than most Wolverine figures that you'll find. So you got to keep that in mind. <clears throat> One of the other things being is that I really like this first appearance mask. I want to try to put some real good use to that. Uh, I know I'm not supposed to like it, but I really, really do. So overall, let's get to talking about articulation. Our shoulder pads can move down so we can give it some more modern look on our Wolverine. As you can see, they can just drop down by just rotating down. They move with the arm, as you can see here. So they're going to be able to move with the arm. We're going to be able to lift up, getting that that look of a full T-pose here for your boy, right? We do have bicep swivel. We have a double joint. It's muscular, so it's going to get in the way. As you can see, uh, you can actually turn it without it turning. As you can see on this arm, it turns with it. This one, it did not. Showing you an example of how it can move. We're going to be able to, we should be able to still rotate it. Oh, sorry, that was the whole bicep part. My bad. I'm tripping. Just to reiterate. When you move the bicep, it does move with it. I made a mistake there. I'm sorry. <clears throat> as far as our head articulation, as you can see, I was able to clench the head down. We can actually have excellent movement going up. We can tilt side to side, giving off nice range of expression, right? Our ab crunch in the upper torso, we can bend forward. And then even though it can bend forward, it just doesn't feel like it does. As far as lower torso, I shift side to side. There you go with a look at that. When you bend forward, it also will bend the belt up in the back, so you may want to pull that up. You may have some issues with that, depending on uh, whether or not you're like doing super articulated stuff like me. So let's say you're lifting it all the way up, obviously because you know it works like real clothing, it's going to drift uh, under a little bit. So just keep that kind of stuff in mind. As you can see, we have a double joint. We do not have any boot movement, just same as with no glove movement. We do have pretty decent angle pivot. I wish we got a little bit more though right but let's see how it looks when you like pose it up right so let's say you get logan and logan stance Ooh, oh there's a butterfly joint i forgot all about that so my bad i forgot to mention the butterfly <laughs> so we got a butterfly joint there and it, when you pose this guy up right as you can see i'm i'm moving that that lower torso really close and forward so as you can see here him hunched over it doesn't look bad at all even with our, ooh, the ankle pivot does work really good here. So as you can see, that movement there kind of keep you in that nice groove, that brawler mode here for first appearance Wolverine. Let's say you jump in at a larger character, you're doing any sort of swishing sound. Let's say you're about to break out the shink shinks. Here you are looking really good. Pose up with your Wolverine, right? About to pop the claws, obviously, right? Let's say you get a fastball special, you get that leg all the way out, you get the rotating. So here you are with the John Cassidy version, that good old fastball special, looking really good. So we can get our leg up 90 degrees with no issue, even though he, you know, his tiny little legs, right? We do have a thigh swivel as well. As you can see, I rotated outward and inward. So you have all the makings of your modern uh, articulation, right? It's just, this is your medical body being a little shorter for Wolverine. Could it have been shorter? Probably, but it, it, it does look nice next to other figures so we'll talk about that as well and sorry if the lights are low my eyes are killing me so i'm trying to keep it at a low light level but i'm gonna try to adjust it because it does feel a little low but now what we're going to do is we're going to take this next time to talk about all the accessories that he comes with so let's get into that all right guys welcome back we're going to talk about accessories i had to change the lighting up even though it is hurting my eyes like no tomorrow uh trying to give you guys a better view but trying to work through this as well so 
what we can talk about here is going to be our accessories and this is where it gets fun because i think this is the most amount of logan head sculpts we've gotten in a figure in a long time so here we have with our first appearance head which is by mezco right then we have what would be our grit teeth sculpt for the first appearance sculpt see if we can get a little bit of zoom on that there we go looking really good so that covers one of them here we are with our modernized sculpt I really like the way this looks it has the big wings I just love those right and that's with our neutral face we also have a grit teeth version squinty eyes as well too it actually sees a lot of expression in the mask next up we have the yelling sculpt this is always awesome really like this one again I love big mass Wolverine I also love short bass Wolverine too I think this is by far my favorite sculpt so far which is gonna be the the damage sculpt this one is really dope because it shows you adamantium damage Wolverine pretty much healing up from it we also have a broken wingtip showing you that he's been in battle in a while and he kind of just doesn't care at this point he's enjoying himself I love the look of this you even have a bit of adamantium and hair coming out through the skull tip right there looking real good well as far as damage like looks go that looks really good then we have our first appearance well a shorter hair younger logan giving off that younger logan look you see the sideburns is real though <laughs> then we have our more modernized version hair loose kind of like eh whatever don't care right there you have that we also have this to allow you to show the hair back on the mast head but you can just pop the head off lay this over the neck area you'll be fine then we have accessories for the hands and this is where it also gets really cool so you will get one left hand kind of like an open action hand kind of like a gripping hand but it depends on what you want to hold in it i suggest you put beer cans in there then we have a pointing hand right but this wolverine is mostly about that action so you will get some open action hands here if you want to grip ninjas faces or you know just overall grab people by the leg and destroy them then you will get claw hands very important that you get these it is a wolverine staple so you'll get these these are the closed fist ones but what's really cool is that they included open-handed ones and i think that's important because wolverine doesn't always just have closed fists he does do open hands especially if you look at any steve mcniven art he goes ham in the streets with that version of art, right? Then we have bone claws. I thought this was cool that bone claws were included. They are wild, they are unshapely, and uh, it's crazy how good they look. It really is. Like these look really, really good. Then next up, you will have an alternative belt piece. And this is where I like that really a lot, is that with this alternative belt piece, right? You can actually swap this, the belt buckle part out, and if you want it to, you will match up the dots, one large, one small. And then you will have the X. I think I put it on backwards anyway, even though I tried to practice that. <laughs> and then you have the X. The piece to surround this is going to be right here on our left hand side. You just tab it open, tab around the body, tab it on. But one of the coolest things we'll bring is probably going to be the claw effects, right? So let's actually zoom back out just a bit fix our focus we're gonna pop a claw hand on pop a claw right so we have a claw hand on and then we have general effects so we have a spike effect which is sort of like a landing slash effect and we're supposed to align these and because they're so clear it's hard for me to see from far away but I'm going to attempt to line them up very well for the people there we go I had to do it off camera sorry about that so let's line it up just one more time again as you can see you line it up within the three pieces there we go and if you want to see what the effect looks like here there you go right let's pull this arm down so you can see it and he can hold the weight of the set effect this is actually really fun because of stuff like this you can actually get really like a lot of fun out of it and this is why i love when mezco decides to do something new and different they really do it really well. I know we've seen a bunch of people make effects. So now it'll be cool to get it with it. Here we are with rotating slash effects. Same thing. You just pop it within the grooves. Which I cannot see at this angle. Like literally everything looks the same. Yep. And I missed. 
but you get the the gist of it. I'm not say the grip of it. Wow, <laughs> you get the gist of it. And these are like serrated blades. These ones. So this can be a slashing effect, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find a really good use for this. So I hope you guys will enjoy those photos. Then we have a longer slashing effect. These ones are less serrated, more like a longer lashing slash. This is more like an overhead or uppercut. I really like the idea of this one. You have the short slash, which looks like a short Berserker Claw, a Berserker Barrage. <clears throat> but probably my favorite one is going to be the big old X, right? The clank clank, the one you see like when you do like uh, Weapon X or Berserker X. I love this claw effect. They are groove spots and four spots, so you can just line up how you want to make it balance. It's basically like a cross chop from Match Amp. You hit that cross chop, you hit them. <laughs> And last but not least, we're going to talk about our base that we get. So there is a Sentinel base that lights up. And there's also a small eyepiece that you can actually either plug in or there is a groove spot for you to put it on the Wolverine Claws. Let's actually try to find one of those spots. You, there's two spots on it. You can just kind of line it up and put it on there. Nope, and I missed. Wow. That was not very cash money of me. Uh, there we go. So there's one right there. But we do have the light up sentinel base. And this is really nice because it lights up. But just a disclaimer, I haven't seen it, but someone has talked about there being some wash issues in the grooves of where the uh, stand is supposed to be. I would say you take some tissue and kind of wipe it up. I have not had that issue, but I've been hearing about others. So you're gonna, once you pop the batteries in from below and you turn it on, what you can do is you can just plug so here we are with our light up base and like I said if you want you can take the eye plug the eye in there looks like a power down eye but there's a lot of good uses that you can get out of this base even though it's technically like not to scale but it does look cool enough as a background piece or a rubble piece so you want to use it in like a dial piece there's a ton of stuff that you can do there it kind of make you want to go okay I want I want to try something different with that so that's something that you can definitely keep in mind there. What I am going to do, though, is I am going to swap on a modern sculpt for this. I'm going to make a little bit of space as I prep to do our size comparison. So let's get to it. Also, shout out to Vasco Toys because that's who the diorama in the background is for. It's a hanger type thing. Really always wanted one, so I finally got one. Shout out to Vasco. I'll see you guys for the size comparison. See you in a bit. Hey guys, now we're going to jump into the size comparison, do a little comparing with other Wolverines from Mezco and stuff like that. So let's get started with it. <clears throat> First, let's compare to our previous iteration of our blue suit Wolverine. As you can see, more stylized, a little bit bigger. Mask is a little bit uh, more glossy, a little bit more stylish. Even if we pick up Logan's head, you can see just the difference between the two. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is the gauntlet differences, the, uh, the short differences the boots completely different this is definitely leaning more towards a classic logan whereas the original was definitely way more stylized right like i said even the body's a little bit smaller now what i want to do is i want to pop the heads because i haven't done that yet i want to pop on the heads on each other see how they look on each other just in case you want to double check so here's this head on there then here we're going to pop this one on and it looks like this one the peg sits way too high so that will not work at all but this one actually doesn't look terrible on it definitely looks like a more uh non-comic logan on it if you want like the short mask version hi ichigo so let's uh pop those so re swap them back and then we can talk about the other stuff so let's compare some other stuff to it let's pop this mask back out do 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 looking good logan here we are with mezco cable He's a tall guy compared to Logan, so it, it does look like he's actually taller, <clears throat> especially with these big boots helping out. If I had chose the PX cable, he would look smaller. So with that being said, we're going to choose some other characters. Here is, for some reason, I cannot find my Cyclops to save my life, but here is Remy LeBeau. And again, Remy's taller. And since he's already peeking his head in, let's do a Marvel Legends Beast. I wanted to do Beast because... I like the size of Beast. More importantly, I just wanted to show a bunch of different characters kind of interacting with him here on camera. So here we are with Marvel Legends Beast. Let's remove these two guys. Let's do Marvel Legends Havoc, the new one that just came out. 
So we're going to do Marvel Legends Havoc. So here we are with Marvel Legends Havoc. As you can see, Logan should be significantly smaller, but this is, you know, two different scales. And this is one of the things where short guys really don't work in comparison with it. So now, like, if I gave you an example, like, here we are with the Marvel Legends one. The height difference does work better against the two, but I'm pretty sure with the Crouch and Logan, you can kind of finagle it. But you see what I'm going for with that. <clears throat> Next up, we have Marvel Legends Sabretooth, which is important. I throw a Sabretooth in there because arch enemies right and this one is not terrible because you he's still much bigger than him that's a custom head by the way so this really does work um i wish he was a little bit smaller but it does work in case you want to do up up against saber tooth here you have an articulated icons ninja the evil sensei itami right looking good then you have ooh. then you have mezco me which i shouldn't even have did because i already compared mezco on here so here we are with Mezco Me, right? Kind of putting them out there. Next up, we will do SHF Kamen Rider Cougar. And then we're going to do a little bonus round because I got to run and go grab them. Will be the Action Force and a Mythic Legions because uh, I don't have those guys around me. So let's take the time to go grab those before I say goodbye. So let's do that. And like I said, before I go, we're going to throw in some bonuses. So here is a Mythic Legions Dark Templar. Here is an Action Force Valiverse, right? So Wolverine can go up against either one of these guys because literally he's fought just about any and everything. Just in case you didn't know that. Like, he's, he's just fought everything at this point. So, I want to throw those in. Uh, yes, I have not been feeling well to, on the end notes. Uh, I'm doing my best to still get out videos. I want to still sound the same, but I just don't really feel well. Um, but I'm doing my best. I hope that you guys enjoy the photos at the end as I've tried to do something not different but different i don't know if you get that uh shout out to everybody who watches my stuff i appreciate it. it it means a lot that you guys really really like watch my stuff and enjoy it i've said it before and i'll say it again and i always will because i'm appreciative of the people places and things that i experience in life but most of all i want you guys to always enjoy the good in life except the bad and hopefully you can change what is that is that you can change it's rough sometimes out there. Um, some days are worse than others, and some days are better than others. You have to look back at them with fondness and, and take what you can get out of it. So as always, please, thank you so much. Uh, and please, be good, do good, and uh, drink your water, guys. Later. Later.